want to welcome back to us Brad Humphrey, our newsletter guy and our contractor's best friend. And Brad, what have you been finding out so far with your walks around? Well, there's a little bit more optimism this year Do you think? than last year. This is the 21st year I've been here, and this is the most optimistic it's been probably in three or four years, to be honest with you. Well, since we've come out of the 2008 thing, I, I, I believe there's, there's people that have just had it with that whole attitude thing of saying this it cannot continue. And certainly there's a lot of people that have left the industry altogether, right. moved on to bigger and brighter things. Right. But uh, we, we've got to be able to sustain this construction industry, right. whether it's concrete or anything else, right. because it means everything to our lifestyle and our infrastructure. Yeah, what you're seeing in this industry right now is we've had some of those folks leave the industry. The ones who have stayed are in it. They're in it for the long haul now. Here's the good news though, Roger. We're starting to see some of the private money coming back into construction. The stimulus had its impact and it was limited in some areas of the country, as you know. Right. But the private dollars back in, many of the clients that I work with and even some that I'm now emailing with because of the newsletter, right. they're telling me they're starting to see the small signs of growth coming back. And that's pretty exciting. Uh, and this industry, if it really starts taking off, you and I talked about this earlier, I'm not so sure we got enough contractors to do all the business. That's a good thing for contractors that are in the right. business now. Right. But we've had a lot of guys who have gone out of business or have left, as you said, retirement, we're also facing that labor situation that we talked about earlier. We've got a lot of people retiring. And in the next three to five years, you got possibly 30, 35% of our now workforce that may be walking out. So this is a really critical time for, uh, for this industry. But you know the thing is, this industry is full of proactive people. All right. And you, no said about well, it. you said something a few months ago about attitude. There's a feeling that people are tired of being down, right? You know, and it doesn't take much for some of these uh, construction guys and gals to really get the feeling. And let's get going. Let's make something happen. Well, I think that's a general attitude of America. Yes. And, and, yeah. Because you know we're we're just not that sort of a, an economy. We're not that sort of a uh, how do I say it a, a a people system that has that mindset, to right. s so to speak. So we're very positive and we want to be that way. Obviously, I think they're, if you, you go and talk to the average person on the street, they're going to say, yes, we need roads, bridges, right. buildings, houses, X, but how do we pay for it? Bingo. And again, that goes right back to the economy and the banking industry. And uh, uh, apparently the banking industry is seeing that. And like you say, the private guys may be having uh, a little better success at loosening up some dollars. Well, that, I, and I know you believe this, if, if the American work spirit is incredible, maybe the best in the world. Right. If you give business owners, whether they run a $2 million business or whether they run a $200 million business or a $2 billion business, give these American companies a little bit of money, get out of the way, and we can start building again. And, it's, and, and, and that excitement may be just around the corner. Absolutely. Yep. Now, your first Seminar, I think, is tomorrow. Am I right? I've got two in the morning, uh, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, wow. uh, and they're on uh, building teamwork, which is huge for crews today. We have such a diversity in the workforce right. in every industry, yep. but we're certainly seeing that in construction, and we're also talking about how to motivate today's worker. Today's worker is a little different, mm -hmm. and the tools that, uh, that we may have used 30 years ago uh, may not always work the same way with today's workforce. So we're going to spend some good class time on that, and I'm always, what I get excited about, I'm, they expect me to the teaching, I learn a lot when I'm in those classes because right. there's a lot of good, right. smart people right. out there. Just the Q and A alone can you bet. set you off. You bet. A Maybe track. give you some feedback on it tomorrow. Well, that'd be great. I was yeah. just going to say, if yeah. you can find your way back here to sometime tomorrow to give us an update or what your impressions are from the questions you're you getting and that sort of thing, that'd be great. Yeah, I love it. Good. Appreciate love you stopping Thanks, by. Thanks, Rogers. Always we'll good see to see you. you. Have a good evening now. Thank you. And, 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 you know, stay out of trouble. <laughs> we <laughs> are in Vegas. We're in Vegas. <laughs> that's, that's that's absolutely right, Brad Humphreys. And uh, I think he'll be back here tomorrow anyway. We'll be right back with more from 4constructionpros.com and live stream from World of Concrete 2012.